day everyone! For today's video, I am going to introduce another software you can use to develop a website you might need for yourself, for your business, or even to showcase your passion or your hobbies. But this software is widely used for business, particularly in online marketing. The software I am about to introduce you is the Wix.com. Wix.com Limited is an Israeli software company that provides cloud-based web development services. It allows users to create HTML websites and mobile sites through the use of online drag and drop The tools. dashboard of this one is a bit complicated than the others, but is actually easy to use once you are already familiar with its tools. But before I show you how its dashboard looks like, kindly like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates in various business-related topics. The first thing that you need to do is go to Google and type in Wix.com to be directed on their website. If you already have your account, this is how the dashboard looks like. But since this is an introduction, let me go back para mapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung itsura niya kapag ito yung unang beses na pupunta kayo dito sa website. Ayan. So this is how they introduce Wix. This particular page shows all the features Wix offers from creating your own website with several templates available to choose from. And they also have Wix Editor, Wix Addy, yung Artificial Design Intelligence, Wix Velo, and many more. If you want to go or to know more on its details, you can go directly on this page. Dito naman sa baba, nakalagay ang 6 simple steps to create your own website. Ayan, number 1, sign up for a free website builder. Number 2, customize a template or get a website made for you. Number 3, drag and drop 100s of design features. Get, number 4, get ready for business. Number 5, publish your website and go live. And number 6, drive traffic to your site. And since this video will only cover its introduction, hanggang dun lang tayo sa step 3. Pero yung step 4, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung sample on how it actually managed kapag may online store, booking system, and etc. Pero yung 5 and 6, hindi na. Dahil for published na iyon and maintenance ng ginawa mong website. What's great with this is you can actually start to create your own as they offer a free trial to introduce it. And once you're satisfied sa features niya and you want the other features to be unlocked, that's the time na you can avail their offers dito sa may bandang pricing. So let's get started! Gaya nga ng binasa kong first step sa previous page, the first thing we need to do is log in. If you don't have an account, you can click the sign up word here and fill in the necessary information to create an account. For those who have accounts naman, they can log in through Facebook, Google, or Apple. Or simply type in your email and password. And on my case, nakasave na siya so I'll just click the login button. So, andito na ulit tayo sa dashboard ng Wix. Nandito siya sa homepage and now, let's go to all sites para makapagsimula na tayong mag-create ng website. So, for this video, I will not show you a sample kung paano yung final output ng website. I am going to show you the process of editing it dahil unlike other website makers, yung template pa lang dito parang output na. P.S. Di po ako bias. Yun lang po napansin ko. <laughs> and now, let's start creating one by clicking the Create New Site button. There are actually two ways to create a website using Wix, but before that, you need to type in first the kind of website you are creating. As they offer a wide variety of templates that goes with what kind of website you want, ito agad nire-require sa una dahil bawat kind, meron na agad silang parang built-in website ganon. Once you have chosen what kind of website you want, you just need to click the next button. On my case, dahil medyo nagugutom ako this time, let me choose restaurant. Ayan, so maraming choices ng restaurant website na pwedeng pagpilian. And I'll go with restaurant blog. 
parang magfe-feature ko nwari ako ng mga restaurant, more of reviews, then sasamahan ko ng business like bestseller food. Yeah. So this is what I am telling you a while ago. There are two ways to create a website. With Wix Addy, you just need to answer a few simple questions. Then after answering, it will automatically produce a website for you. On the other hand, creating website with editor is editing editing a template. So nakaready na yung template for that and did mo na lang siya i-customize based on your preference. On this video, I am going to choose the first one, itong Wix Addy. On the other part of this video naman, I'll let you show how it is kung editor ang gagamitin. Now, let's start answering simple questions. The first question is what do you need on your new website? Meaning, what kind of features do you need? As shown in the right side of the screen, may mga features na agad siyang nire-recommend depending sa type of website na pinili mo. All features na pipiliin mo dito ay mag appear sa homepage ng website mo. On my example, dahil restaurant vlog siya, naisip ko isama yung restaurant menu. Pero perong, parang nagbago na isip ko. <laughs> I'll add forum then for discussion, the chat, Instagram feed kung meron ka pero ako wala. So, uncheck yan. Then, subscribe form and online store. Yes, it is a vlog pero meron kasing mga vlog na nag offer ng items based sa napapansin ko sa ibang vlog. There are some na nag-feature ng item then in-offer dun mismo sa website. Especially kung kilala kang gumagawa ng vlog. On my example, some of the restaurant owners might contact you to feature their own restaurant and offer their menu using your website. Parang ganun. Then, click next. Once you are done, you need to add the name of your blog. So, sa akin, lagay ko na lang your choice restaurant. Wala kang choice restaurant. Pwede ba yun? <laughs> you can also skip any parts of the question you think will not be applied on your website. Like, eto. If you have an existing website na gusto mong i-integrate yung images and text doon, kumbaga, um, parang i-import mo yung mga images and text doon, you just need to copy, copy and paste the link here. The same with Google. So, on my part, I'll skip this one. Now, you need to review and edit your information. If you already have a logo, you can attach it here coming from your computer files. You can also add your address, phone number, fax number, and even social link like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and etc. And speaking of YouTube, again and again, please like, and share, and subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Then, yan, lagay natin sa address Makati City. Then sa phone, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 0. So, kung nag-exist yung number na yun, hello sa'yo. Since, wala naman akong malalagay na social link, though dyan siya nilalagay, i-delete ko na lang for now. Pero kung meron kayo, add nyo siya dyan. And then, click Next. And now, pick a theme on how you want your website to look like. This part might show you only six themes to choose from, but it can be changed mamaya. Yeah, you can always change them later naman nakalagay dyan sa baba ng pick a theme you like. I'll let you see the other themes not included here, but for now, pili muna tayo ng isa to continue. So, ayan, elegance. And now, let's pick a homepage design. For this one, they really offer only three designs. More of its mood kasi dito if you want it light, dark, or mix. Ayan siya. Kaya tatlo lang talaga yung mapagpipilian mo. Though, pwede siya makustomize mamaya. And dahil nakablock ako today, I'll choose light. <laughs> Doon tayo sa maliwanag. 
finally, we are down to the last question. What pages do you want to have on your website? These pages you'll add here will be shown in the header of your website. Mag-appear siya doon as site button na kapag ni-click nila, idadirect sila doon sa page. Unlike the other na ikaw pa ang gum ikaw pa ang need gumawa ng button for you to be directed, dito hindi na. Automatic na siya. Kapag nilagay mo yung page, idadirect siya doon kung sino man yung view niya. So, ayan, may about siya. That means what the blog is all about. Contact! How your customers or readers of the blog can reach you. Quote kung meron kayong nagawa and many more. You can even add a blank one kung gusto mo na ikaw na magka-customize. So, for me, I'll add the three first and decide mamaya kung may gusto pa ako i-add or it's enough na. You can also skip this part if undecided pa kayo sa pages since pwede naman siya i-add later. Now, click edit site and it will generate your website based on your answers. And here it is. This is how the homepage of your website looks like. As you can see, halos parang tapos na siya. Everything is on place. But I know for creative people out there, this is very plain. So, I'll show you how you can edit each part naman. But before that, let me first discuss the tools shown on the upper part of this page. The home button is the locator of what page are you working on. So, yung breakdown ng pages nandyan. And if you want to go to the other pages, you can just click the page you want to like. Ito, the about page. Ayan siya. Pag clinic mo, mapupunta ka sa about page. And then, the shop page. Ayan. Usually, ginagamit ito ng restaurant bloggers to show the shop na napuntahan nila. Ganun. Pero kung mapapansin nyo dyan, na puro pa lang items. Kung baga yung ano lang, icons lang ng shop. Pero mamaya, i-edit natin yan. Papakita ko dun sa inyo. And then, the add button naman is when you want to add a page or a section within the page. Pag section, ganito siya. By part. By part dun sa ano mismo, page. Unlike kapag page, isang buo talaga yung naa-add sa kanya. And this one naman is the themes. Ito yung kanina na anim lang ang pagpipilian. Here, madami na siya and you can change it to whatever you prefer. It also includes the color, the fonts, and animation. Fonts includes the font style, font size. Yeah. The animation works as how you want the page to show once nag-scroll ka. So, dito, trinay ko muna yung cross rate kasi hindi ko pa siya na tatry. For colors naman, mag-edit siya ng color for the whole site kung paano mo siya gusto. Gaya ng sabi ko kanina with choosing homepage design, halos ito din yun. So, ayan, meron siyang light and then meron din siyang dark and ito naman yung mix. This part naman ng manage is for the blog and shop. How you will manage your posts, your items, and medyo advanced na yung part na ito. I'll show you how this works mamaya kasi um, ibang dashboard siya kapag clinic mo. It also has the undo and redo button. And um, feed weeks, ano siya? automatically nasa-save din yung gawa mo. So, you don't have to worry. Kunwari, bigla kang nawala ng internet kasi nag-auto-save na siya. Every edit, every ano mo, undo or redo mo, na, na si save na siya. And this one naman is for what orientation do you want to view it. It can be desktop orientation or mobile orientation. Ito. So, this is how it looks like in mobile. Ayan, medyo mabagal kasi mobile dog chart. So, ang kagandahan dito is pwede mo siya edit ng desktop friendly or mobile friendly. Depending on um, sino ba yung mga target niya yung mas marami bang cellphone or yung mga naka-laptop. Kung mas maganda ba siya sa laptop or gano'n kung sa cellphone. And here is its menu kapag ka-mobile. Ayan. 
And kung mapapansin nyo, may ready-made description and sample posts na din siya na need lang i-edit para ma-customize siya in a page that you want or need. So, ayan. And that is all the tools na madalas gamitin while editing. On the next part of this video, I am going to show you how it is edited part by part as it is the most detailed topic on this video. See you again!